In a world searching for gleaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today, I'm bringing you another episode of Last Epoch on my updated Stunnerator build, Stunnerator 2.0. This time, it's serious. I don't know. I'm just in a weird mood. Let's get started. What is this place? Where did the Ospreys go? I'll have to check my surroundings. Okay, I like the continued uh, voice narr narration. Gives you an idea of what's going on. Looking for breakables and I'm not seeing anything yet. So he's gonna escort me back. Altus. Alright, so I guess I have a little bit of a helper going through this next area. Oh, look at the bodies down there. Hanging from the, uh, from under the, uh, oh, uh, the bridge. The lighting down there, it looks really good. This area has definitely completely changed. Purple void bat monsters. First, well, second chest, but first, you know, actual. Oh, 20 health versus. Oh, I'll take 20 health, please. Thank you very much. And it doesn't look like much else was useful. Um, melee damage, increased melee attack speed. Nope. No, nope. it's not what I'm. I want, you know, on hit. Procs and stun chance. Those are the things that really help me. Or attack speed. Just flat out attack speed. Um, water shrine again. Oh, I'll click it. Oh, so you're if you have a helper, they get the buff too. Good to know. Dude, you can't take that thing out by yourself. Oh, it was a it was a, a a buffed enemy. That's why. I'm like, do I have to do everything for this guy? Get out of the the purple ooze. I've been nice of that mob had dropped something, but okay. Um, I'll, until I'm full, I'll keep picking stuff up, but then I'll have to start, you know, dropping stuff. Whatever's cheapest, I'll get rid of first. Normal action adventure stuff. Fill your inventory until it's over full, then keep the stuff that sells best, or might be useful in the future. Some more bodies suspended. That the shard. All right. So once again, continue on with the shard. It's something similar to what I'm already used to. Um, nothing to unlock. How many points do I have? I don't have any points. Why was that highlighted? Hmm. Uh, skills? Yeah, I don't have something else. Oh, I got a new skill. Okay. Manifest weapon. And struck or not. Lunge. No, I'm, I'm going to stick with the hammer throw. I, I love hammer throw. Oh, haste shrine. Okay. Now is that going to affect? Uh, oh, movement and attack speed. Nice. Too heavy. All right. Now I need to get rid of stuff. And is it better than? Oh, I think it's going to definitely be better than mine. And sort. 
Jade Amulet. I will check that because increased melee attack speed, increased throwing attack speed. Ooh, better than health. Minor, but I can see it. Alright, go this way. Oh, that buff speed is nice. Oh, tome. Eight mana. 21 armor. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, that's the kind of attack speed I want to get up to later on. Now, I'll have to, you know skill up and get it, but that'd be nice. Yeah, eventually I just want hammers to be f just flying everywhere. And not splitting off, I'm just saying the the amount of hammers I can get going at any one time because of the uh, the attack speed, the throwing speed that I have is what's really important. At least that's what it was in the last time I did this build. And maybe it's not as important, or it might even be detrimental if it uh, if it'll hurt my ability to stun or something. All right. Void Assault. Oh, this is all new. I love it. Completely new areas. Or just redesigned. Oh, actually, I do recognize. This is, might be just be a redesigned old area that you get into differently. Anybody that played the uh, early alphas? Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Early alphas. There used to be a river over here. I can't go that way. I wonder if in a different time, you could go that way though. Something to consider. All right, so now we got our map. I like how it kind of jumps around. It's just not one straight. There's several different, you know, I can skip the upper district, but it's going up through the armory. Lower district. Cliffs, there wasn't a, um, uh, teleporter pad, so. Okay, this is the same. Minimus, run you stupid mutt. Leave me. Minimus, I think there's a dog later that's called Maximus. But in a different time. Time is, is very important in this game. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, like I was saying, maybe in a different time, that I could go the other way and not and not the direction I'm going right now. Maybe a passage would be available or a walkway in a different age. Okay, somebody's dying. Question is, I don't know where. Probably that guy that was on the ground. He looked already dead to me, so I don't know why he was making all that noise. Dude, you're already dead. Stop making all this noise and racket. Um, yeah, more of that. That can help if I'm having those kind of problems. Increase, but it can't pierce, so I don't want that at all. So I'm going to go into this, heavy into this. Then into rapid throw to really up my, um, uh, my throwing speed. I'm going to just kind of break with single. Oh, I think I was going to break this, all this stuff in the single throw. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. I'll break all this stuff. It's all in a nice line for me. And I could break none of it. Shrine of wealth. Okay, just gold. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to move. Move again. It's still my best attack as long as I can stun the enemies. I can get them in a nice line. This is ooh, stun avoid and charm. Oh, I'm starting to get crafting parts. Awesome. Looking forward to uh, improving my gear.
All right. Vitality. Armor and void protection. Store the crafting items that frees up inventory. That's a new feature. You couldn't do that before. And I'm glad to see it. Let's get rid of some of these lower level items. Just that way, in case I see magical items, I don't have to think about the space issue. Um. All right. I want to cover the whole map. So I'm going to go back up this way and uncover everything. Come on now. Stop. Stun. Stun. There we go. Every time I can stun an enemy, I can control. And if I can control the battlefield, then they can't do a lot of damage to me. What is this one? Stun. Ooh. Oh, stunning shrine. Mama. I like that shrine. Ooh, a leather coat. Pick up that real quick. I don't think it's any better though. Well, I've been using... Yep, it would be better armor by five, but I'll keep the void protection for now. <laughs> okay. 200% granted is, is a buff, but do you see how much um, stun I can get going? Oh, so there's another question mark over here. So different question marks or side quests. All right, this feels new or it's been redesigned, redesigned. Oh, can I go in here? No, not yet. Ah. Oh, there's a passage over there. Dude, you're you're down already. He's still yelling. I almost want to sit here and just let him just keep yelling because it's not doing him any good whatsoever. Uh, that's just wrong, but it doesn't mean I don't want to sit here and just keep listening to it. <laughs> I won't. Now, my question is, because there's a pathway down there and there's light, I'm wondering if, if that's an alternate pathway that we can get to later on. So there was a question mark over this way too. Now I want to go back and clear that because that might be the side. And I think the direction I was facing heading north was the primary. So let's open this side up over here. Come on, come on, come on. Work with me. There we go. Get all nice and lined up for me. Bash of regrowth. Oh, health regeneration. That's actually nice. Switch over, drop that, store the crafting knife. I like how you can just score crafting items in a separate area now, which is really nice. Yeah. And you can do it like on the fly, it makes it so much easier. Inventory management isn't as, as much of an issue as it used to be. Ooh, Axe of Wounds. But it's two-handed, so not what I want. Oh, taking a little damage. I think the Silver Wands might sell pretty good. No, they actually do look like silver wands. Sword items. I'm really not too worried about it. 
I'm just kind of going as quickly as possible. Don't want to waste too much time. All right. Chance to ch uh, chill on hit. That's one of the things that I'm looking for. Now I'd prefer, you know, ignite for the extra damage, but chills, you know, it's a, it, it is a, a status and I want to be able to do, uh, Hit them with status effects. Side area, maybe? Oh, oh, nice. Void forms. This, yep, yeah, this was an area that it's definitely been updated, but this was an area before. Telling them the flee. Oh. Those mobs are definitely more sunnable than the other ones. I've already come mostly around this way. Um, is there a way? Ah, yes, I can scroll the map. Awesome. Arrow keys, by the way, to scroll the map. So I have that area to go and this area to go. And those are the two different quests that are still have to get clear. But what's over here? It's probably a dead end, but I'm going to go check real quick. Just checking. Never know. They get infected by the void. Oh, Captain's ring. I remember that one used to be a nice... I already put it on. Stun avoidance. And that's good. I definitely want to avoid that stun. Um, melee attack speed. Increased throwing by six. Yep, I'll switch out. And sort items. Excuse me, excuse me, let me get by, thank you. Yeah, I know it's one gold, but if I leave it, I'm gonna hate myself. And I know that's stupid, but uh, that's how I play <laughs> these kind of games. So uh, get used to it. I like to clear maps, and I hate leaving gold behind. At least you don't have to click on the gold, it just it jumps into your inventory, which is nice. I'm going to put one point into there, one point into there, and then I can start putting points in Iron Mastery. And then I'll go for Axe Thrower. And those might get reset. Those are just the points I'm going to be doing for now. I need to, to relearn the class because so much has changed. Um, and I already know that some of my builds are um, Boobar. Like my Mr. So the Void build. Um, probably... Um, or Mr. Surf the K build is probably busted. Which which is sad, because that was a fun build. It's my uh, Poison Aura build. Definitely a fun one to play. Now, it'd be nice if, if, one, if these wrapped around on each other. It'd save me some time. I like when the enemies are, are fighting among each other. I can just toss my hammers in there and just hit everything. Oh, can't get to it, huh? Oh, it's I have to go all the way around, huh? Let me... I think I'll clear that first, and then I'll go back the other way. Check the door, you never know. More flying bats. Oh, hello. Too heavy. 
Too heavy. Too heavy. Um. Drop that axe. Give her another graze. Short items. Switch that one out. And then grab the ring. Rings are small. They sell pretty good. Yeah, six. I can stack those. Okay, so that's... Everybody needed to be uh, be found, so there's that's good. And I don't have to go back over this way because it wraps over. Which means it's not that I don't have to go too much out of my way to actually unlock it and feel good that I've unlocked everything. And um, yeah, I'm going to go do it. Don't hate me. Sorry, but I have to. This is a large area, which means it's all loaded in at the same time. And look how good, now I'm running on ultra at 1080p. So the highest graphics possible and at 1080p. I think I might be able to do this at 1440p, but. But 1080 is working good, so I don't think I'm not gonna push it. We'll just leave it at 1080 for now. But it's looking really good. And my six gold. Yeah, this is a, a an area that's been updated. This was very similar to what it was before. All right, now we can get out of here. And I didn't have to do all these, but they were quests, and I don't know if it was going to make me go all the way around, but I went ahead and did it anyway. But at least I got all the evacuations done. I'll get full credit for that. Now, this is like it was set up before. It'll go up and then wrap back around this way. Yeah, this is like it was before. It looks much better. Nope, move out of the way to that void nastiness. Check the door. Now, if everything is equal, this will be, yeah, just a chest up here. Shouldn't be able to break this door and actually go in. Too heavy, too heavy. Okay, that tome. Uh, store crafting items. Sort. Mana and armor. I think I'll leave what, what I've got. I'll keep what I've got. I'll drop that. Those are taking up some deep space. Now, I might not sell all the magical items because I can, when I get shatter star shards, shards of shattering, or runes of shattering, I can break those items down and possibly get shards out of them. So it's not always the best thing to actually uh, sell all your magical items. Keep them for trying to gather shards out of them. Oh yeah working really well stun and they can't do too much especially when they're fighting each other oh there's something more down here now that we didn't have before it doesn't go anywhere but yeah before it just went into a, like a dead end and there really wasn't anything over here boots I'm to upgrade again. I think I will go for some rapid speed and get some uh, more throwing speed. 
Yeah, I feel that. Just so, I mean, it's a little bit, like I said, you know, 5%, but I can actually feel it just a little. And right now it doesn't seem like much, but once I, ooh, this is new. Ah, okay. Chest and a, and a upgraded mob. That one dies, breaks into more mobs. Too heavy. Um. Two-handed. I probably can't carry it. Too heavy. Oh, maybe. Too heavy. Sell price is seven. Okay, it's all the same. Um, anything on it that I want. Chance to bleed on hit. Ooh, that I'd like. Blind on hit. On melee hit. Okay, I'm going to drop that one. And I'm going to take the wounding one. And that's only because I want to be able to get the shard off there that has the on hit. The proc ability. Run past. Avoid the void. I don't know what they call that attack, but I'll call it like a void wave. Avoid the wave. The void wave. All right, so there should be several way or a few waves of mobs followed by uh, a boss enemy. A lot of the focus will be on the mage, and typically he can he, he can take care of it all himself. But I'll help him out just because I'm a nice guy. Now you can um, stun boss mobs, but you really have to have a high stun chance to get past their protections. I'm gonna check this whole area real quick. Check this door, you never know. Oh, that's a new graphic I haven't seen before. Good look at the council chambers. All right, I'm gonna go, I know, I just got here, but this one's gone on long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. I've been critical. This has been Last Epoch on my updated Stunninator build. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.